Hey guys, what's up? So it's a top best rates, she's 5, 7, 12, 13, 14. The first she's called Smart Battery 2. You'll open tweet the monitor, save, and tune. Um, so your battery. So successor, successor are one of the most famous, or best battery customization, save and modern and tune tweak. So the only thing anyway between the complete smartphone is your battery. Um, so Smart Battery 2 is hands down the best tweak to save battery life with smart features. You have global settings, you can enable low power mode. Smart Battery 2 can also notify you when your, your phone's battery reaches a certain level. Um, you alert on full, uh, speak on full, no ban no alert banner, no auto look, uh, no auto lock, uh, force low power mode, show batteries, tap low power mode. So, custom interval, uh, battery health, customize the battery, so. Different charging options, boost battery, so this is your one tweak, you know, save as much battery as you possibly can. If you have a bad battery, definitely tweak, worth investing in. So, also guys, read the refund, uh, for refund policy, read this. This is called Lance 2, Ultimate iDevice Customization for iOS 14 and up. This is called Milky Way 3. <clears throat> so, it's multi-window mode, resizing each window, minimizing windows, opening an app as a window from 3D touch menu, and camera support, so. You have the usage, support, future updates, troubleshooting, refund policy, notice, and see what it looks like. So you can see you kind of have like that, you know, like the Mac or Windows, you know, multiple windows, but it's on. This is called Day In. And tired of new stock. So this part is completely new and more modern looking notification banner experience. And it also adds many new features in the process. And it's also customizable. Sports iOS 12, 13.7. This is called Lintz. It's the uh, ultimate device customization for iOS 12 and 13. This is called Safari Full Screen Scrolling and enables full screen scrolling in Safari. This is called Safari Full Scroll, makes it Safari scrolling in the full screen. This is called Low Lock, uh, turn on a low power mode once the device is locked. This is called Smart Network 2, must have tweet the monitor and handle your Wi Fi. <clears throat> and I guess your uh, cellular data at the same time. Uh, fully supports iOS 14 new feet and new devices. So you have a Wi-Fi list which fetches all known connected networks and fetches the password for them. And you can easily share your password. So if you have like a long password for like your Wi-Fi you never memorize, it's a perfect tweak um, because you know it always members memorize the passwords that you put in. It doesn't give you passwords that you know, it doesn't hack Wi-Fi passwords for you. It only does it for passwords you already put in. It remembers them for you. Which is a feature iOS definitely should have added <laughs> since the beginning of iPhones, but they never did. So there's like there's no way you can see your Wi-Fi. I guess for security reasons, there's no way you can see that you can see that Wi-Fi password. But this tweak you can. It's also other tweaks like Wi-Fi list and Wi-Fi passwords. Those are literally made just for that purpose of you know saving your Wi-Fi password when you put the Wi-Fi password in yourself. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. And also you can turn off Wi-Fi data, disabled data, you know, customize all that with like your Wi-Fi and data. So if you're like a limited like data plan, um, you, you know, you're barely connected to Wi-Fi. This is a great way to save like that data and monitor your data usage and Wi-Fi usage. This is called Emerald uh, Status Bar Widgets. Enhances your status bar within two shift interactive widgets. Next week is called Center Labels. Centers all labels in main settings page. Next week is Unlock or Else. Make your passcode pop up right away. And this week, centered large store. It's uh, center large store meets uh, center line the app store large navigation titles. This is called pop up uh, blocker, uh, but the other two I want to share is settings buttons. Useful buttons in the settings navigation bar. The other one is pop lock and drop it. The main purpose this week. This is called no switcher cache. Uh, remove the cache or the snapshots. This is called no music volume knob. Remove the knob of the volume. This is called No Buttons When Playing, Remove Quick Actions Buttons. This is called uh, EXTO, EXTO, Fires 13 to 14. Unleash your folders. It provides a simple and efficient way to launch apps with, within, uh, from within folders. This is called No Face ID Lock, Moves the Face ID Lock. This is called Sends Buttons UI, UI extension for Sends Buttons Tweak. This is called Revelary OS. <coughs> Um, cheat engine style AOB scan CLI tool for iOS search game Revelary OS source code available on github.com um, forward slash psycho bird. So it's kind of like an alternative to um, like Game Jam, <coughs> iGame Guardian, um, iGame God. What's the other one? Um, DLG Memer. And, um, but the only thing about this is that it's way more advanced. So it's more as developed as like a um, developer tool. 
so it's really really hard to use for a normal person like i got th most of it but then you gotta like you gotta um translate like the numbers to um a different language so like in order to even put input that so it's just it's really complicated so it's not easy to use but for the most part it's just like that it's just it's a developer tool though so for the average person you're not going to know how to use this because i i got through most of it and it's just it's, a, it's so much more work to use than using dlg memer game jam i game god you know all you know i game guardian so those are so much easier to use in this